Hello everyone, welcome back to MacPoint Design EMC channel. Now that we've done three episodes on screen and shoot the cable, we've got lots of questions, right? And lots of interest as well. Now, generally speaking, to discuss uh, the theory, application, and demonstration of screen cables, it takes about half a day in our normal seminar. So I hope you can appreciate the difficulty of making this into a, a YouTube video. It's just gonna be too long. So um, we just try to, our best to answer some of the questions you have. Now I have to mention that we, you know, we talk about screen cables, but typically you can divide screen cables into two types, right, in general. One is the sort of coaxial cable where you have the center conductor, only one center conductor, and the outer shield is really used for carrying that return current. And that current is useful current, it's a differential current that right? you want to carry using the shield in using the shield of a coaxial cable. Um, so that's one type in general. The other type is what you can call a screened cable, right? So in inside that screen, you could have power return, signal and return. So you you don't need the screen to make the you know, signal work, whereas the screen is really just used for controlling the EMI. Um, one question we got asked a lot, right, um, from our viewers is that, well, we've been told that it's best practice to terminate the shield on both ends, but then sometimes we found terminating one end actually works better. So how can you explain that? As I said, these kind of questions we have in-depth discussion in our normal seminar, um, but in today's a very short video. We just want to show you uh, uh, a very simple demonstration using exactly the same demonstration in you know as we used before, um, just to show you that at least for high speeds, high frequency signal screening, it's always a good idea to terminate the shoot on both ends, and you can really see the difference. So um, if you haven't seen the previous episode, I would encourage you to watch it before you watch this one because this one is very short, and uh, we hope to do more on screen cables in our future episodes. So. Uh, stay tuned. Um, if you remember, we did a video on how to improve the shielding effectiveness of a shielded cable by using some uh, better grounding techniques so that the connector is well connected to the outer shield of the cable. And we demonstrate the effectiveness by comparing before and after. And if you remember that video, um, we actually didn't terminate this end. So uh, when we were using a RF current probe to measure the RF current on the X on the outside of the shield, we still see um, some noise, right? Which we're not supposed to see. Okay, so this is really the results we got. I can switch off the comb generator. You see, uh, this is the ambient. You see, uh, those noises are ambient noise that picked up uh, by the cable itself and some are FM radio stations, some are DAB, and that one there must be coming from the LED lights in the room. So yeah, we know that, but when we switch it on, um, you can see these are the noise um, we're still picking up, even though we improved the shooting um, connector on this end. Well, this makes sense because this end is not terminated. And all these wires, right, are uh, extending outside of the shield. Therefore, as we explained in a video, that the RF current starts to flow on the outside of the shield. Therefore, picked up by this RF current probe. And this actually raised the question because some people ask, "Mean we've been told that it's always good to terminate the shield on both ends to achieve really good shielding effectiveness." Um, Yes, for high speed, high frequency signal, this is definitely the case, as we will quickly demo uh, straight here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, if you look at this material here, okay, so I have some shielded uh, uh, sheets, right, and what I'm going to do is just wrap the shield, uh, the, 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 this shield bag, uh, and connect the shield bag to this outer shield and compare the performance. Uh, this shielded bag, by the way, used exactly the same material as my shielded tent. Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm gonna put this here and show you. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Okay, so if you look at 
the screen there and let's see do you see that did you see that on the screen you see this is almost as the ambient noise as we explained right that noise there is the LED lights noise that noise is FM and DAB and really the noise uh, generated from the box is well now is well shielded and you can see the difference right when I remove the shield see that right so hopefully this a very this short follow-up video will show you at least for this high frequency communication signals it is a good idea to terminate the shoot on both ends and I mean this end and this end okay so hopefully you enjoy this follow-up video and I'll see you next time.